In this tutorial, we will learn how to make an interactive button. Elements interaction is very important when building a website. It is also an important factor for accessibility. To style an element in a state, we first have to select the element. Let's use the button for this example. Once we have selected the button, the state section is visible in the visual inspector. Pressing on the plus icon will open a drop-down menu with all possible state options. The states currently supported in Teleport are, Focus, Hover, Active, Disabled, Focus Within and Focus Visible. These are all based on CSS pseudo classes. We will select a state from the drop-down list, Hover in this case. It will then be automatically enabled and added in the state section, so you can start editing styles right away. The enabled status is indicated by the purple color of the label and the fixed message at the bottom of the screen. Everyone likes a smooth transition, so when adding the first state we set a 0.3 second transition on the element. The transition property will only be interactive when you preview or deploy your website but not in the actual canvas. When a style is enabled, any style changes we're doing on the element will be added to the selected state. Let's add a new background color for the button, a lighter one. The change will always be visible in the canvas, as long as we have the element and the state selected. Unselecting a state can be done simply by left-clicking again on the highlighted state label, or by hitting cancel on the fixed message at the bottom of the screen. The next style we want to edit is active. Let's go ahead and add that to our state section. We'll just add a darker background color. In the advanced inspector, we can always see the styles that we previously applied to an element, on any specific state. The final behavior after applying the states and styles can be checked by hitting the preview button. This will open a new tab in our browser, from where we'll be able to see the results. To delete an existing state, simply press the X icon when hovering over the labels. Another option is to right-click on a state label and choose Delete from the context menu. Currently, all styles applied on a state are independent and there is no possibility to apply specific state styles on a media query. Likewise, if a media query is enabled as well as a state selected, any changes from the inspector will be added to the selected interaction state, without considering the enabled media query. That's it for the states, in the next video, we will see how to view and export code.